Recently, Dennis Shapovalov shared his thoughts on a growing issue within professional tennis, the demanding tournament calendar and how it impacts players. Speaking candidly, Shapovalov expressed his belief that players would be more inclined to cope with the grueling schedule if they were compensated better. His comments have added fuel to an ongoing debate about the physical and mental toll the tennis calendar imposes, especially for players ranked outside the top tiers who often struggle financially. Shapovalov's viewpoint is simple but powerful. If players earned a decent amount of money, they might be more willing to endure the calendar's rigor. Tennis, unlike some other professional sports, has a steep economic divide. While top players like Djokovic, Nadal, and Alcaraz enjoy considerable financial success, many lower-ranked players struggle to make a living despite dedicating their lives to the sport. The Canadian player highlighted this imbalance, questioning how sustainable it is for the majority of professionals who grind through the season with less financial security. His remarks resonate beyond just the financial aspect, they point to the broader issue of player welfare. The tennis calendar is relentless, with back-to-back -back tournaments and little time for recovery. Shapovalov's comments align with other players who have voiced similar concerns, suggesting that the ATP and tournament organizers should reconsider the scheduling to avoid player burnout and injuries. This conversation around the tennis calendar isn't new, but Shapovalov's comments add weight to the argument that reforms are necessary. In a sport where peak performance is everything, providing a better support system, both financially and structurally, could be key to maintaining the health and longevity of athletes. The tennis world will need to consider how it can better balance the physical demands on players with fairer compensation across all levels. Stay subscribed for more videos.